Hello everyone, this is Honeywell and we're playing more Stardew Valley. Well, we'll start out our day with the TV. I would prefer coffee, but it is what it is. Okay, it's going to be sunny tomorrow. And the spirits are neutral. <laughs> what are we going to do today? It's the beginning of the month. I really... We need, we need lightning rounds um, in order to collect battery packs and protect our crops from storms. But it's not going to rain tomorrow, so we don't really need to do that. We could kind of do whatever we want. And I think what I want to do is, uh, is just wander around, forage, and talk to some villagers. So, uh, and chop trees. If uh, that one piece of wood in my inventory is any indication, we need lots and lots of wood um, for coal. Uh, I want to make some beehives. I need to start gathering mats for uh, kegs. And, uh, yeah. And I should check the calendar. I'm almost positive uh, it's Jazz's birthday and then Gus's. And I, they're not till later in the week, but we'll, uh, we should swing by there. The general store check to see if there's any quests uh, but first things first let's let's do the watering and I can tell already that I'm gonna regret not putting sprinklers in over there oh uh, but it is what it is okay let's unload this stuff if we're going out and about, we'll probably want our hoe. Uh, we have our sword. We're gonna keep all these tools just because the with the change of the seasons, everything's usually overgrown. So we're gonna keep all that. Um, speaking of changes of, of the seasons, I should probably do something with the spring forge. So we're gonna make another chest too. Red mushroom. I need two red mushrooms. Do I need that coral? The artisan bundle. Um, we are going to be growing apples and pomegranates. Uh, there's three things that need... We need 30,000 uh, gold this month. The first 10,000 that we get, uh, we're going to get a horse just because I like the speed boost and it makes the game more enjoyable for me. It's, if you are trying to uh, complete your bundles the fastest, um, it's the wrong decision. <laughs> uh, but I like wandering around, I like foraging, um, and all of that is better on a horse. So the first upgrade, the first 10,000 we get is going to go to a horse. Then after that, um, I'm going to buy an apple tree and a pomegranate tree, and that's another 10,000 gold for those two th trees. And they need 30 days to mature. So, we want to get these, and they, uh, and they produce in the fall. Um, so we really need to, uh, get the trees kind of quickish within the first couple weeks. And then after that, the next 10,000, um, a barn is 6,000 and a chicken coop is 4,000. Uh, then we'll think about putting some uh, a barn and chicken coop because we're going to need animals for the uh, 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 for the animal bundle. We're still gonna check the cart to see if we can uh, buy some of this stuff to, to bypass this a little bit, but but yeah. Okay, so first we're getting a horse, then we're getting uh, fruit trees, and then we're gonna get uh, coops and barns. And we can uh, play around with the, the animals, get them to like us and all that, as long as we need. Because again, I'm not trying to get this as quick as possible. Um, but what was I looking for in here? 
This is going to be one long rambly episode here. Um, I was looking to see if I needed this coral. And there's the duck feather that we wanted to buy the other day and couldn't. Yeah, I don't think we need that coral. Okay. Let's sell the coral. Go check the mail. Thanks, Dad. Um... some of this copper going. A few more tappers won't hurt. Um, we need oak resin to make kegs and somewhere around the middle of the month we're gonna have um, we're gonna have eight farming after like our first big harvest um, which is one of the reasons why I increased the the number of sprinklers we're doing. Um, we're gonna have eight farming and that means we can make kegs. So similarly to the way that we made the preserve jars as soon as we were ready for um, four farming, we wanted to have the mats for 10 kegs and they take oak resin. So we're gonna put some a few more tappers on our trees uh, just so we're not so far behind on that. What else? Uh, beehives, which we need maple syrup for. So maybe I'll do another uh, another tapper on a maple tree too. We'll see. And then I also want to have um, I also want to have five copper bars on hand. Uh, just in case if we decide to update, upgrade our watering can or hoe. Right. Uh, let's get to uh, watering here. And uh, while we're out foraging and uh, maybe hopefully running into some people to talk to. Um, I'll be cutting down trees too. Oh, are our mushrooms ready? Take that as a no, our mushrooms are not ready. I don't know if I'm going to be watering this the second half of the season. I already don't want to. I just want to go. Yeah, it is what it is. Uh, one of the reasons why I thought it would be neat to, to keep this hand watered as well is because you have a chance for giant crops if... Um, uh, and they need a nine, a three by three area in order to uh, be a giant crop. And with these small sprinklers, there's no there's no chance for them to uh, to make one. And since we're putting all of this, all of these melons in either the, our preserve jars or our kegs that are going to be, um, giant crops would be amazing for us. Okay, watering can. Um, I guess we'll go. <laughs> Let us. Let's eat some salmon berries so I can drink some coffee.
and we'll uh we'll take a look at our own farm before we leave and uh maybe clean up just a little bit oh there's maple syrup maple syrup yay Uh, these maple trees down here, I I was running out of inventory space, so I just planted uh, the seeds that I had picked up, which was not a bad thing. In fact, I should actually do that because we need a lot of wood, and we don't have enough money to, uh, to be buying this stuff yet. I mean, eventually we'll be buying uh, charcoal or coal from Clint wood and stone from Robin uh, but we have like 965 gold and that stuff's expensive so it, it's priced to be a money sink and not it's priced to be a money sink for the end game it's not something that is meant for like new players to to use and while we still need and before we uh while we still need to level our skills it doesn't make all that much sense to to buy these things because again we get foraging experience and uh, all that stuff uh, from chopping trees and the like I guess I'm forever going to just be fumbling around with uh, with finding my tools. I tried putting them on the hot bar the, hot bar the other day, and uh, it did not take. Uh, part of the, part of the reason is just because I'm. Like, you need to use the key keyboard to move around. And I prefer using the mouse, so... And I put... I don't know, maybe I'll uh, play around with the mapping a little bit. Because it would be a lot faster if I would uh, use these hotkeys. drop some of this stuff off. Um, do I want to... We can use our sword. And we're gonna craft up a chest. Let's put our spring forage in this chest. And basically, uh, duh, 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 duh. I'm really hanging on to this forage just because it makes good gifts. Uh, in fact, let's see if we can run into uh, Leah, Harvey, and what's his face, Linus today.
go drop some of this stuff off at the community center. I don't feel like talking today, to be honest. <laughs> I just want to play the game. An octopus, no. And that's something else we need to do. Um, I want a grocery, or not grocery shop. <laughs> I want to, uh, talking to people while they're doing like activities like this. Um, usually you get uh, 20 friendship points for talking to people, but if they're in an activity like they are here, um, you only get 10. And I guess I could talk to them now and maybe get 20 points. I don't know. Oh, I don't have room to go to the beach. <laughs> Oops. And the bolts and board. Do I even have anything for this? No. The fiddlehead ferns are going to be uh, in the secret woods. Oh, I didn't bring the oak resins and stuff. Uh, let's see. Chub and geode. Uh, die bundle. Good. And that's where the duck feather would have went. And that's where we need the sunflower for. Uh, yeah. Crab pot. We really want to get this. We can get these uh, little crabs f from the, uh, in the mines. So maybe uh maybe we'll spend a day uh, on the copper level because we're gonna need copper for our kegs too. But the sooner we get those, um, and here's the catfish from Lily, which is very nice. Where does that go? Okay, and that's all the fish. quality crops, parsnips, and then we'll get melons and hopefully corn. And we have no summer forage yet, but we're going to be doing the same thing with the summer forage as we did with the spring, which is basically just selling it. Exotic. Mushroom, carrot, pine tar. I'm gonna see if I can put in these other two mushrooms. Like this can wait, like this is no big deal. Um, I really don't wanna use an oak resin and a maple syrup right now. Um, just because the maple syrup you use for beehives and the oak resin for kegs. So if, if I don't need to, uh, to use those, then I won't. And I've done nothing but wander. Oh, hey Demetrius. Wait, come back. There you go. You're welcome. Make sure to water your plants every day. <laughs> Although if you're using water retaining soil, you don't need to worry about. Yeah. It's a... I've never used it. Do you know what would be a neat experiment? This basic retaining soil, um, it, it only costs two stone. If, and when it has a, um, the soil has a chance of staying watered overnight, I think it might be an interesting experiment just to take, um, like in the spring when you first start out, because it rains so much in the spring, just to put a huge, like, 
uh, plot of crops down. Use that basic retaining soil and don't water it at all, but just count on the rain and uh, see if um, see if you could get a field of, of something to come up. Like parsnips only take four days to grow. And I know it rained more than four days uh, last spring. So you could put in a huge crop um, and not work it at all and then just get the farming experience and sell the produce. I might want to, I might play around with that. That might be a good, uh, a good strategy. Or maybe these uh, wild seeds, these foraging seeds, which you get for free. Might be interesting. I don't think it rains as much in the summer as it does in the spring though. I know a few of you said you were uh, picking up this game. You should try it out and let me know how it goes. Craft some retaining soil, plant crops, and just uh, let the water, the watering happen from the rain and, uh, and see how that works out. And of course the beach is empty. <laughs> the beach is always empty. Oh, Leah, I was looking for you. You're welcome. It is beautiful. Hey, Sam. God. Maybe we'll marry Sam. Look at that. He's so normal. Oh, hi. It's good to see you again. Goodbye for now. What a nice normal exchange. Jody should be uh, proud for having a nice son. I guess we'll go to the forest, grab our, grab our what? Hey, Elliot. Yes, I was just at your house. No beautiful shells. I really wanted to go to the beach because the rainbow shells usually uh, wash up during summer. Hey, Marty. He is a good chicken helper. Benny. It is nice. Very nice of you. Should we go to, uh, go to our spring onions for old time's sake? I think not. Let's get the, uh, well, we'll take the long way around. But I want to get to uh, get our the hardwood, and and I want to make a trip around the mountain road too. That's usually where the grapes are. And if I had all the time in the world, I would uh, I would spend the day cleaning up the forest, just because that's fun. Yeah, I bring my sword today and there's like no slimes to be had. The other day, no sword. There was like eight of them. Eat up. Uh, what? Oh, wait, no, slimes. Yay, yeah, slimes. Um, I think we still need the the dwarf squirrels and stuff like that. We should probably just start at the bottom of the mind and work our way up because I need some of the lower level things. Like I need that crab. I need the dwarf squirrel. We still haven't um, gotten an ancient seed. Oh, there's a fiddlehead fern over there. Um, like farming for ore and stuff is uh is nice just because you get what you're looking for just by repeating a couple floors over and over again uh but you miss out on some of the drops and stuff oh 
and I said we needed a uh, what is it 10 o'clock I'm out of time though but let's get up to the mountain road and then we'll get up to the mountain road and there's some pine trees up there that I can chop down if there's time Yeah, see, that's why I thought I should have put in a path. Nice spice berry, grape. Worms, stupid clay. Spiceberry. Let's uh let's go to the community center and just finish up this bundle. Hey Linus. No. Will you just give it to the homeless person? You are welcome. Should I talk to you? Yes. <laughs> I know, and I just barge right in. You're minding your business. You should probably close the flaps. Any forage? I don't see any. And we were already over here, so there shouldn't be any. get our spring seeds. I think that should be like 16 1650 because we're just going to sell them. Did I look at this quest? Yeah, no octopuses. Sorry. Yeah, Jazz is uh Jazz's birthday's on the 4th. And I think we're just giving her a daffodil. Gus is on the 8th, and he's probably just getting a daffodil, too. Uh, Maru, I think we have strawberries for her. Demetrius, strawberries for him. Alex, I have no idea what to get him. He has, like, I think he likes food. Uh, Sam, Sam is pizza. Willie likes food and fish. I think I always end up just giving him quartz just because it's cheap and I have it. Uh, yeah. And I've looked at the wiki extensively, like, but I just remember it. It's not that I don't use the wiki, I just, like, my memory for this kind of stuff isn't that bad. Like, I just usually retain it. And uh, thank you, by the way, for the uh, likes and comments. Uh, not many people are watching, but as long as as I know people are, are liking it, I have a... Uh, I'll continue uploading these videos. As long as I'm not talking to myself, <laughs> because it just feels weird. Uh, let's put all this stuff away. sell those. Oh, and let's try not to pass out. And our new forage, I guess, will go in this bin. That, that. And I don't have time to, to do anymore. Get into bed. Yes, please. Oh, that's a spa opening up. 
we probably won't be using that much. It just takes too much time. But it's nice to have. And, uh, yeah, sixteen fifty for these seeds. These are, these are better. These cost, these sell for, like, uh, a pack of ten sell for, like, five fifty. And the forage only, if you would sell the forage individually, is, like, less than three hundred. So it's a nice little bit of profit. And our coral. Okay, that is going to end this long, rambly, self-indulgent episode. Um, I hope you'll come back for the next, where we're probably going to be uh, far farming for some iron. Okay, take care.